down the street from me where I lived at, and I was his paper boy. And uh, uh, he kept on asking me, asking me about scouting, and then uh, uh, he said, we definitely need you. You know, so uh, uh, that's, that's how I got involved. And I have always, because I was encouraged, felt that I should encourage more young people. I'm, I'm gonna say with my wife uh, relationship and Girl Scouting, uh, the family always went camping together. And those experiences was so important to us. Uh, so we wanted to share it with other young men. Oh yeah. My mother was a Girl Scout leader and actually my great uncle was the first Boy Scout leader at Bidwell Church and uh, his, well, those men are in dead now, but they are, would have been in their 90s or over 100 by now, had they. But, um, so it's always been in my family at some level, girls or boys or somebody, but it was always trying to support young people. And, and just piggyback on what she just said, uh, some of those young men was part of the Tuskegee Airmen. I have had a close relationship with uh, uh, Jess Johnson uh, in scouting. When we used to do different uh, camper reads together, he would always speak to the young men, tell them about his experiences. We received our Silver Beaver Award uh, the same year. Uh, but we have always kept in contact, and his son-in-law is a member of my fraternity. Everybody's not an athlete. Everybody's not a writer. But this, it's, a, it's, it's sort of like a gang, in a good way. In a good way, and the skills that they learn, they can always hang on to that. Um, it's a good thing. The youngest, uh, who's the Eagle Scout, uh, at the University of Pittsburgh, uh, uh, he saved uh, a student life by what he learned how to tie a tourniquet and call 911. Uh, uh, the life lesson skills that you learn in Scotland uh, will never, never, uh, it will stay with you. I'll I have you. had many uh, uh, Eagle Scouts, but one Eagle Scout that really stick out is a uh, uh, school board member of the Pittsburgh uh, School District, Kevin Carter and he was uh, my Eagle Scout. But he started off at Heritage working in the uh, uh, concession stand. And the seven years, maybe eight years that he worked there, he could have, be, he could have become a camp director there. But uh, it paid his way through Point Park College, okay, and uh, him achieving something that I didn't achieve, such as uh, being a member of the Pittsburgh uh, School Board, which I ran. And when he was a scout, he was passing out flyers for me. But that's, that's memorable because seeing them achieve that. It's not just one. There are many, many young men who are uh, principals, in school districts, they are teachers, uh, they are doctors, okay? Uh, seeing them being positive in society. Um, everyone, there's nothing free in life, okay? Um, and everyone is not in a position to be able to afford some of the activities. And I was always taught, you can pay now or you can pay later. Paying now kind of makes a bigger difference than paying later because usually when you have to pay later, it's a negative. My message would be, scouting is more important today, especially today, than it ever, ever have been because of what young people are going through today. 
and they need that support. Thank you.